What's up guys, welcome back to Stainless Steel 6.4, my name is Deplex and today um, we will begin our new campaign. Uh, the previous one lasted for about a couple of weeks. Um, it was a good sort of beginning and an entry to the Stainless Steel series. Um, it was hard, um, I don't think Norway was the easiest faction to play as, along with the fact that uh, the Danes gave me a hard time. I think I did fairly well. I've learnt my lessons though and I'm uh, Sure, that will have a good and long lasting campaign as the Byzantinium or the Byzantine Empire. What's interesting with this is that it's kind of a split up empire, as you can tell, and they did uh, shatter and fall into becoming several smaller states along with the Ottoman Empire and all that. Uh, you know, uh, the, you know, the pressure from the Turks and all, so there should be a fairly good fight. The battle difficulty is going to be on medium. I'm going to run everything on medium because I think that's sort of what I. Uh, perform best with when it comes to um, this game. Um, unlike Empire and Shogun where I tend to put it on higher as I, well, I don't know, different kind of game mechanics in my opinion. Um, I like it. But we should we should have a good campaign. Uh, and as, you know, I like to compare this to my previous uh, Third Age campaigns. I've done a lot of Third Age. It was really popular back then. Uh, probably still is. I might even do some more. But um, uh, first campaign's pretty bad. You know, enjoyable, but didn't go too well, and uh, later on, we did great. So, uh, you know, the more you play, the better you do. A new threat. Well, we saw this last time. The Mongols are appearing in the east, and here we are. Byzantine, completely different area. Kind of reminds me of Rome. This whole map, beautiful. Here we have Smyrna. Contra... Contarotoi. Hmm. Tuxotai. Interesting infantry. Skotai... Skotatoi. Swordsman. Okay. Oh, there's a, f a lot of them. Varan... Oh, Varangian Guard. Oh. Most famous of all Byzantine units made up of Holy Scandinavians and Englishmen, the Varangian God were initially a military levy sent to the Byzantine Emperor from the Ruse, which are permanent units of these as royal bodyguards. Cool. That is awesome. Scythian Stratiote Latinicon. Cool. Right, let's take a quick look around. Uh, we're neutral with the Seljuk army. I have a feeling that they're going to attack me here in Nikkei, though. I don't know why they'd place them up like that. It's kind of nasty to have them that close. Uh, I've got a territory up here. Trez Trebs Trebizond. Constantinople. By fucking Greek rebels. Look at that shit. Looks like they've all, they're all crusaders, to be honest. Yes, mate. We need to turn this more orthodox, so he's going to stay there. Merchant, what is he making? He's not making anything. See what he didn't make here. Yes, 25, 62. Yes, you will proceed to trade that. Opening trade lane. A spy yes. here could be quite valuable. Let's see what this city has to offer us. Uh, big garrison as well. Seems to be crusaders that have dropped out. I've got another rebel city up there that I'm going to take a look at. Byzantine bishop, 90% uh, orthodox, 80% orthodox, 70% orthodox. He's going to try and take Arte into a more orthodox level. Got some ships here, it's good. These cities seem to be doing generally well. And I'm going to begin upgrading their farms. They, they're quick, they don't take very long and they improve the the economy quite nicely. Uh, won't do the same here. I will proceed to. You know, it'd be a bitch to be attacked by these. Uh, it really would. Uh, and sooner or later, I am going to need more troops. So, those two, yes, go. And another merchant for the money. Great. Let's see how it's looking up here. Got some pretty good trading going on here, I think. Get that going. 
and we're fine. Don't need to recruit anything here. It's a fairly nice amount of units, though, to pick from. Hopefully they're good. The thing is, what empire should I connect first? Should I sort of reunite this whole thing here and fight the Turks? I know they're going to be hard. It's surely easier fighting these rebels and these independent cities. Yeah, I think I'll just tr try and reunite Greece or something. Should be hard, but it'll yes. be fun. Let's combine the fleet as well. I did see another boat over here. We'll be a lot stronger yes, together. And if we ever face some opponents, now, my lord. it's Athens. Definitely besiegeable in time. Yes, my lord. Yes. Oh. Join there we go. Fleets, my lord. This is it's in the turn, and welcome to the Byzantine campaign. Where I try and keep our falling empire together for as long as possible. Seems like the Turks are backing off now, thank God. They frighten me a lot. They do, really. And, uh, as much as you should fight in this, it's also important that you pick the right targets without making any, you know, without making too many enemies. I'm not below the Pope, so I am not sort of in a big alliance, but I am not really targeted. Uh, Increasing pity reduces loyalty. A lot of these things going on here. That is my faction leader. Fine. Pretty good going there. Looks nice. Great. End of turn port. We're going down. Total 6,684. Profits are minus uh, a lot. Okay, my expenditure is quite heavy, high as well. Um, I did stop buying a lot of these farms. They should be done fairly soon. Improved farms and food production uh, should improve my trade as well. Let's see what a spike can check out here as well. As you wish. Ah, Adrianople. These are really, really well protected. That kind of sucks, to be fairly honest. Uh, the rebel territory up here as well. Gonna take a look at that. Get our agent out. One of my good merchants. Established, my lord. Good. Yes, my lord. Extra income. That's suppose it's going to be making its way up there as well. Um. Ah. Uh. Okay. What the hell? Aha. Uh -huh. Tax collection plus five appears and used to siege. Just gonna let this city be for now. If you could take a look at the map, um, this territory over here is all controlled by the Turks in one, two, three cities. Four, to be honest. If I were to take those, I would reunite this whole area over here. But that would be a lot of fighting, and the Turks are fucking mighty. Trust me. Uh, fairly low garrison on that one. Could be a good target, actually, to instead of taking out these independent ones, I'd just focus on the Turks. But. The problem is, I don't have the Pope backing me, so yes, uh, no crusades can be uh, initiated, which is unfortunate, it's the truth. But uh, here's where we really have a choice, if I should try and take down these independent cities, um, which would leave me in a fairly good position, as I won't uh, really start a grudge with other nations, or I could just target the Turks and try and reunite my, my greater areas there on the right side. Um, we'll, 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 we'll see. It's interesting. I've never played as the Byzantine before in any other games, I think. Neither have I played as them in the vanilla. So, this should be quite cool. Kingdom of Hungary. Coming down there to trade, huh? I hope not. Rebels. 
Boom. Yeah, we're going up in money now at least. That's good. One more turn and we will have everything done. Addition to the fortification of Sevilla, the Tower of the Gold has been started by the Alamo Haders. The Twist Well said a watchtower protects access to Sevilla from the Guadalupe River by employing a chain of block to block the river. Its name comes from the plants to cover its stone and golden towns. Holy Council. We've read this before as well. New mission. I'm going to send an emissary over there. Fairly straight up mission. Get myself a diplomat. Don't think I have a diplomat. Got a spy already, which is enough. Uh, I'll send him over there. I'll take this spy over there to check that out. Fairly unguarded as well. I mean, it should be easy to take it. I'm not going to, you know, attack it now, but it should be fairly easy to take out, to be honest. As long as I can manage to keep these cities under protection while using... Uh, Sire, a great council has been called Loyal Priests Wish to Attend. You found this... Um, Not. It is easy to become comfortable with the enemy you know. I'll We've seen that the Mongols are invading. They're coming from over here. So they will naturally take this road down and try and take everything in their way. Obviously move up here as well and head right. I mean left. Heading right isn't really profitable. And uh, sooner or later they'll probably bump into these territories, but by then I should have everything united and ready to fight them. Hopefully. What is good though is that if all of this somehow falls, or all of this somehow falls, we always have the other side. Admiring Rebel Navy enemy. pirates doing no good. Gone, do I could fight them, but it's nothing yes, that I'm gonna. I'm not gonna risk losing any of my ships just because of that. Oh, yeah, he's being recruited. Great. Uh, let me take a look at my treasury. Looking pretty good. Uh, faction ranking is going up. Let's take a look at the Turks. Oh, they're way above us. Bloody hell. Military ranking. Hmm. Production ranking. Financial ranking. That's going down. This is going down as well. I'll do an overall ranking. They're going to be my main enemy up, uh, in the upcoming days and nights. Well, okay, it's clear that almost every settlement that they own, the rebels, that is, is going to be pretty much impossible for me to take out. So, we'll see how I'll do it. <laughs> Alright. I played as the Scottish ones. That was pretty fun. Um took out England actually. I think I played on the in a similar difficulty, so I did fairly well I guess. I think William Wallace spawned and I just ran over everything I could with it instead of playing defensively. Oh, a lot of good things here in traits. Uh seems fairly well. Agent recruiter as well. He's the one we're gonna use. Talk to them. Is that a trade rights? We cannot refuse to bring Of course you cannot. Okay. Uh, we've checked out Ankara. Fairly simple. We're going to go down that way now. Making sure that we can see everything that's happened. Uh, we know that these cities are all pretty much empty, and I think they're spending all the firepower down here. So, I should be able to do some sneaky moves later on with an army. I could gather one here by the border. Uh, I think five units would do. Same for these over here, and then move in. Um, also, pretty sure that these rebels aren't going to move one bit. The fact that I can cross here s worries me a bit though. But as I said, bloody independent Greek rebels aren't going to do anything. Greek rebels. Greek rebels. Greek rebels. They're all Greek rebels, so I think they're somewhat connected to each other. So they might work together. Oh, Valachian rebels. Now this is fairly large garrison, but it's probably a lot easier to take than the rest. This could be a possible target. As you will. Yeah. What? Who's this? Is over. Uh, the Venice. All right. The Venetian. They're not. They're not in bad terms with me. Okay. Well, now I have fairly good estimation of what they have. Farms are done now around the country. No population growth in here. We could definitely have to uh, improve that. Um. No tax rate should improve the population. 
I'm going to begin by doing that. Uh, two forts, one, two cities, and one main capital city. I'll also have this point down here. This is just a smaller village, isn't it? It's a castle. Alright. Mines. What looks chapel? Brothel. What should I build, guys? Tell me. Mm, not really. I mean, everyone's fairly happy in here, so it's not like we need to buy or build any big farms. Communal farming. Plus two in that. I need more trade now. I think I'll get a fairground. Increasing tradable goods, council chambers. You can already recruit a diplomat here, yeah, so there must be some sort of upgrade to it. Town hall must have been the first one, correct? Siege works. Oh, trebuchet. That would be epic to have that. Costs a little too much. Uh, too much for me at this time. The point of the campaign, so I'm not gonna get that. I'll get a fairground. Ready to trade. Uh, he's trading. He's yes, trading as well. Ready to trade. Thirty-two. Thirty-seven. Yeah, that's still better. Hungarians are right above us as well, as you can tell. They've got uh, their merchants down here in Spice. Korsemian Empire. I'm not sure where they're currently located, but they're fur probably further down right from us. So I shouldn't be too eager attacking the the Turks without making sure that I can defend myself and uh, making sure that I can uphold a proper war. We're also done with the ACW campaign, as you know, so that should be fairly good. Um, I don't know what to replace it with at the moment. Um, no idea, really. So a any suggestion is welcome. Um, I do have two total war campaigns going on now with uh, Napoleon and this, so another total war campaign might not be too suitable. Come up with a different game. I'd like to play it. Maybe I'll do it like a Sins of Solar Empire or something like that. I'm up to that. Increase good. Minus a bit. That happens. All right. So uh, it would be crucial to have Isparta and Ankara and uh, what is it? It's called Iconium. Would also be crucial to have. Ash it would uh, sort of allow me to lock this area down completely. Then we also have this one up here, Sinop. Fairly small. Town. These guys are heading down right, I think, I hope. Well, once I can tell that this area is completely clear, I will make ready for an invasion. I will not now, as you can probably tell, but it will probably happen sooner or later. Um, can you place watchtowers? You can, yeah. I might place some, except when I take this, I'll have watchtowers. And enough of them as well for that part. The border goes around here, I think. Hungarians. Urban cross from militia. Spare militia. Pavis. Spare militia. I might try and take Scopia, even though I don't think they're going to be able to do that. Uh, I suppose it's going to pass Sofia. Or oh, that is a fairly large garrison, to say the least. What the fuck? Seriously? Seriously? What the fuck? Come on. Alright, that is the third time that it's happening in one of my uh, videos. This time was the uh, one of the songs from Snatch. 
very good movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Um, the reason why that played up is probably because I looked for it <laughs> after watching it yesterday. Uh, but yeah, alright. Great. Super. Spotify is down. Again. Just one step away from me uninstalling it. Oh, well, I could always turn it off, but... Man, this is racking up to be quite annoying, to be honest. Oh, the... Uh, I really dislike what I'm seeing, to be honest, here. The Seljuk seems to be... Mustering their armies to go for Trebizond. They might just be passing by to head further up. Um, might be a threat coming in from above. I really hope that's the case. Otherwise I'm fucked. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. I, I might have to go on the offensive uh, a bit more than I... Th or earlier than I think. Um, I hope not to be able to m make any major mistakes before turn 10. Or at least uh, any major conflicts. Do I need him? Uh, fine. He's an all right person. Where did he end up then? Okay, got married to one of my girls. Okay, money's going up now. Faction announcement. Minus one, 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 plus one. Street budget. Command. Okay. Back. Plus one in command, minus one in pity. Alright. Just gonna head up around this area. So now we have an estimate of what's going on around this territory. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, it seems to be. Rebel cities. So that will be dealt with sooner or later. Um, over here as well, I'm really eager to fight. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I just really <laughs> want to start fighting the Turks right now. I don't know if it'd be a good thing to do. Considering the fact that they'll probably give me a fairly big fight, uh, but I shouldn't fear fight, fear fair fi fear fighting. I've given them twenty-five. That's enough. These cities are going to be fairly easy to take. The border goes right there as I expected. Going to keep the sky nearby here to make sure that we don't. See anything uh, bad? But my lord and I'll keep the spy around here to make sure that all the uh, Seljuk are heading right. And hopefully, I should be able to trick them. Take their things when they're heading back. Uh, things over here are going to remain the way they are. Things are looking pretty good as well. Don't really need to do anything. Florin, Gilda, either is good with me. He is. 80% orthodox, 83% orthodox. Stay here for the time being. Yes, Actually, right in between there, so we yes. can improve it quickly enough. Almost halfway done with that. I'm gonna head to turn 7. And uh, let's see what the merchants are reckoning. Uh, they should be able to get a good uh, 100 to 200 extra, which is definitely worth it. They're coming up for their own upkeep, I hope. Uh, unless it's like 150, then they're not doing too much, but they'll always get better. And uh, I don't know what the max is for what a merchant can bring in, but it'd be nice if they could rack in thousands. Yeah, they'd be very valuable then. Kingdom of Hungary, Lithuania. The key is here. Is he going to try and buy me out? He did. Way more skilled merchant. Um, my lad over there only had one, I think. So, that's quite understandable. Neither was he bringing in too much money, so I guess uh, he saved me from the upkeep. Rebel army moved out of Constantinople. New mission. Take that settlement, they say. It'll be easy, they said. Merchants assets seized. A shrewd plan by foreign merchants to dream of your own out of business. His assets were seized forcibly, and he was me he has no means to prove the dardly deed that the dardly to prove the dardly deed took place. All right. Well, he disappeared. That means this guy has at least got fine uh, four in finance. A competent yet uninventive warrior of the mercantile world. 
Trading silk, it won't be too easy to purchase or to buy out. I don't think my council wants me to attack the Turks yet. But we'll see. Co-emperor. Orders. Yes. Be gone. If these guys move further the left, I'm still gonna take Constantinople. Screw this area. Oh, oh, what the hell? Spy, come back. What's going on with the rebels right now? Did you see that? Only one unit remaining. What's going on to their units? This is going to be interesting. I mean, hey, let's try and grab as much as possible if they're now just wittering away. And we have to be there at the time of it happening and uh, doing as much as possible to try and take it. Hey, at least we won't have any Scots coming down there to, to bother us, will we? Thank God. <laughs> they were annoying, trust me. Uh, I'm sure you thought that as well. But I, I, I played it pretty badly, to be honest. I just attacked everyone here and there and sent people out on expeditions and everything. Trade rights, of course. You have yes, I like you. If there's no uh, rebel army nearby, I will strike instantly to save as much time as possible. And I don't want to see the Hungarians coming down here taking uh, their share of the cake. I want it all. I want it all. Look at that. Empty. I must now presume that that town above is empty as well. Their garrison remains though, so that's nothing that I'm going to be jumping on, to be to be honest. Uh, Show those up in there. Yeah, that should be nice. Might need more watches. We'll see. Lands announced the Moorish Caliphate and the Fatimid Caliphate. Faction announcements, a lot of pluses here, that's great. That's great. End of turn report. Profits are going up, and we can expect them yes. to continue going up with time. This guy's not doing too much at the moment. Hopefully, he will only improve. We're going to send that spy up to see if we can find anything. I don't know why the the rebels would just witter away into to nothing, but uh, maybe they just all quit. You know, being a rebel isn't really a profitable thing unless you're actually doing things like a rebel would do when you're sitting still in a castle, you know, without any proper means of uh, anything. You're, you know, it's not going to be the most effective career as a rebel. So, uh, well, I'm glad they I'm glad they took the choice to just abandon it all. Making me the uh, their new owner. Hopefully, the new citizens will like it. Fine. That's my turn. Yes. They did the same of the. Move back down there and make sure that there's no. There's nothing hiding. Yes. Orders. Yes. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. We can march no further today. Ah, oh, you heard me, son. I'm gonna grab as much as possible. Uh, Constantinople will have to wait, though. Lord. Move out. A good day's march Armenian ends. cavalry. Way too much upkeep cost. Way too much. Command me. Move out. Bringing our troops together. Command me. Yes? And have these at the border ready to attack. It's looking great. I can't wait to take Tessa Tessalonica. 
get that extra income. More production. Can be great. I'm doing a lot of recording today. It's like my third video in two hours. So uh, it's f a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of rendering and uploading later today. But yeah, this is cool. Kingdom of Portugal. And the Venice continued. Hopefully the Hungarians won't be there to try and take it. But I really do wonder where the hell the rebels went. No idea where they could have gone. Crusader States Princess in her white dress moving on to the left. Fine. He was hiding. And there's the other rebel army. Papal Inquisition begins. Alright, as enthusiastic as I were, there's not much we can do than to withdraw. And hope for the best. Get some more units over there. Send out the cav. Oh, they're still here, alright. That is, n you know, no doubt about that. Question is, can I attack them and take them? Or will that just be a costly fight? It's a really cool unit. Oh, send them back as well. Bloody hell, I was fooled. I think they've lost part of the strength, though. I think they're losing it by time. Well, 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 that explains their disappearance. Orders. Well, we're in attacking range of the city now. Which is great. So we can strike that as quickly as possible. Um, war declared. As expected. Nothing's going on over there as well. Where's my spy? They're all passing further left. So I'm going to send this gap here and make sure that we don't uh, have any other presence over here. Okay, he is doing fine. Can't have any assassins yet. I like to kill the spark above me. Stone buildings. How do I fuck that? I know if it's stone or not. There's like mixed wood and stone, ain't there? Right? Merchants, wharf. Not gonna do too much at the moment. Everything's fairly okay. My economy's holding up pretty well. This was a bit of a setback, but nothing that we can't fight again. After all, I didn't lose a fight. So if they do attack me down here in Arta, I'm going to give them a hell of one. And um, hopefully it'll be enough to weaken them for a future attack. But as I said, Durazzo and Arta is fairly exposed and sort of cornered here on the my western front. Um, but you know, the same goes for my, my lads over here as well in Trebizond. The key here is to unite my territories as quickly as possible. It's going to take time. It'll be a it'll be a bit of a task as well, but I'm confident in thinking that if we actually manage to do so, we should have a great advantage over the enemy. Uh, I really quas Quasaramian. I can being attacked by the rebels over here. I'm going to do a quick retreat. Hopefully, my cav should be able to outrun the enemy. Even though we could almost win that, that's what I find hilarious. He's gonna fight me, isn't he? Fuck. Not much else I can do than fight him. We get a taste of what my Byzantine cavalry would be able to do. I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of attacking and then running back. Hopefully, they're bringing weak sort of militia units that I that I'm most likely able just gonna be able to crush in one charge. Okay, well I got the high ground. I'll remain on the high ground. <laughs> Skirmishes. Ah, oh, they've got light infantry. More skirmishes. Don't 
Don't want to tire these guys out. Yeah, fuck it. Byzantine, motherfucker! What's up, motherfucker? What you want? What you want, blood? That's how you do it. You lose 20 men, you kill 343. Byzantine for the win. And I did a fairly good micro job over there, to be honest. That was awesome. Dude, that could have not have been a greater start of this series. I'm gonna send this guy back. He did fucking great. And then I'm gonna move out in force now. Watch this man. Watch this man. I'm gonna send them all out. Yeah, I can keep them in guard there. They're gonna then fight these guys and then take that castle. That's at least gonna be something. Where's their other rebel army? It's heading up there. Hopefully it's going to head up to Hungary. And I'm just going to keep an eye on this one down here. And we're fine. Good beginning, to say the least. Including some more men in here to make sure that everything stays stable. This army is ready to attack. My spy is going to be heading up here to make sure that they're not going to be making any filthy moves over there. And what a bloody great start, really, don't you think, guys? I think, I think this could even get better if I just uh, fought the next round out. See where I'd end up. It's always nasty to see the rebels pulling their last move, but man, killing so many with that one unit there really shows you what strength the Byzantine has. Their, you know, experience in fighting. Uh, you know, the Byzantine Empire is basically what's remaining of the East Roman Empire, so these guys really know how to do it. They really do. It's a shame they fell, to be honest. I guess uh, they didn't belong down there in the East. Maybe there's a natural cause to why they did disappear along with the colonies in around the world. But, uh, yeah. Other oh, rumors are moving back. They've had enough of it. So a, a unit heading back in there must have been this one. Let's see if I can Order. still attack it. Yes, it's a fairly easy this attack. Gonna get two ladders. Yeah, that should Lord. be great. That should be awesome. So... He went down back to his city. There's two cities down here. Oh, he's there. Oh, and there's the other one. So he belongs to that one. This one belongs to that one. Okay, fine. They're down there. Gonna bring up and move up here. This city's empty. Might be a secondary target, but I don't know if anything's gonna be hiding around these areas anyways. Ready to attack the Turks if they ever wanna fuck with me. They will taste it. I mean, these guys can literally just stay here forever. They're like, they've got a good leader. Yes. You know, look at this loyalty. His command's okay, his chivalry isn't needed now, but his loyalty is insane. So these guys will never turn on me anytime now. Especially since we're actually doing pretty good around the map here. Money-wise, it's going down a bit. Uh, you know, map keeps costing, costing me a lot of money. But once I actually get Scopia, we should have another good and great tax income. Um... So I am going to go to the ter 13th turn, round, and uh, and just take Scopia, really. End the episode with that. Should be a great thing. Cumin Kanate.
Sir Duke Sultanate are heading back as well, leaving Iconium even more venerable. That's one of their diplomats in a cute little dress. It's another one of them. Is that one of my merchants or is that someone else? That is the question. Kingdom of Portugal. That was Venice, right? He looked kind of equal to mine. Same color. Moorish Caliphate. Weird flag. Like a race racing racetrack symbol in the center there. Crown of Castile. Kingdom of Hungary. Aragon, Lithuania, Kiev. No? Yes. Oh, he's coming up again. Fine. Yes. I'm taking battle. this city. Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all... Nothing. <laughs> he stopped there. <laughs> Take up weapons of the glorious army for the salvation of many thousands. Adela, wife of Stephen of Glories. Ooh. Up Oh, there we go, that's a better condition. Got a pretty nasty hill here to walk, to be honest, to get there. Uh, this is clearly in favor of the favor, favor of the defenders. But there's not much we can do really. Than to just climb it. They seem to be really unprepared for this. Yeah, they're not even putting any men at the front. Aha, the cavalry. Along with some archers and people with forks. Luckily for me, they're archer cavalry. And what else is good? But I have got spearmen. And these guys look awesome. Fuck yeah. Byzantine. Fucking awesome looking shit. I'm gonna run these guys up there to take the minimum casualties from arrows being fired at us. Oh, right, they're not actually firing anything, are they? So what do they intend to do? They've gathered every piece of cavalry they have here, which needs to be shot down. And they've got their infantry here as well. They're missing one of the uh, levy units, and yeah, that's the one over there. Great. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk around the walls with my archers. Battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Oh, 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 shit. I didn't even see that. Could anyone of you please have told me? Didn't even fucking see that. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Great, we're actually beating that pretty heavily, as I expected. Great. These units will be making their way up here. Can they even walk there? Fucking maneuvering in the fucking settlements like 
maneuvering in a bloody wood with a fucking tank. If that made any sense. Don't be silly. In our can't fight if we me. remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I can't make it there, can I? No. I'm gonna go down here as well. What's this now? Peasant infantry. See, now they're gonna be shooting some, killing a fair amount of my men. While they're on their way up this hill. However, they're fucked. Did anyone mention how fucked they were? Nope. The mighty fucked. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. But of course. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. <laughs> that was a great siege. Lost 150 men while attacking. They lost like 300. They had a fair, fairly good. Well, their setup wasn't the best. They could have done a lot more with it. But Scopia is now ours. And thank you for that. Let's get some. L oh, we can't really get that yet. We have to have to chill in here for a bit with the army that we have. But that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna keep this spy in between here so I can keep an eye on both what's going on up there and that army down there. Great. Durazzo's gonna get themselves replenished as well. I'm gonna give them one of those units too. I'm ready to strike now. Just waiting for the perfect time. The land seems fairly empty, if you ask me. Hmm. I could always. I see. I wonder how many ha they have in there. Because if they tie, if they if they're gonna return and attack Tresibon or Trebizon, I might as well put them on boats and have them attack this city, linking them up with Ankara, then, and the rest. That'd be a fairly good idea, to be honest. Yes. One last check. Key Garrison is really low as expected. I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you for watching. It's been really fun. I'm going to write the Norwegian save. And I'll see you guys in the future. Bye.